Pilot's Purgatory, which is basically a project that is stuck in pilot for a very long time. Uh, things have evolved whilst some solutions and some uh, technologies have not evolved beyond that. Those that have shown a demonstrable ROI have evolved beyond the pilot stage. Uh, that's an excellent question. IoT started as connecting the unconnected. And a few years ago when we started this journey, it was about extracting data from these unconnected devices. So you basically see what has happened. Now what AI and advanced data analytics are bringing to the story is we can do things like predictive analysis, we can do pre prescriptive analysis, so while as before, we were able to see whether a device was active or not, uh, we can see what has happened to that device. By collecting this vast amount of data and using AI and data analytics capabilities, we're able to predict when a machine, for example, is going to fail based on past history. We're able to predict the stock in a retail store as opposed to saying, is there something there or is there something uh, that is completely out of stock? So we get a lot more intelligence uh, now from, um, from the data that we collect from IoT devices. Customer expectations have changed dramatically. While as before they were saying, can you show me the states of my devices? Now they're asking for, how can I improve my business? How can I improve efficiency? How can I increase revenue? How can I decrease cost? With uh, prescriptive KPIs that we have to adhere to. So it has become part of their business operations rather than a nice to have. And this is a huge change in how we address our customers over the past couple of years. Yeah, real-time uh, capabilities are critical in today's uh, competitive environment. Everything is is now relying on having data and uh, in knowing things as they happen. For example, I need to know the exact moment that a machine is about to fail. I need to know the exact moment that I need to intervene in order to fix a, a problem that I have. So from a technical perspective, that means that I have to do some analytics and data analytics, both in the cloud as well as in the edge. In the cloud, it takes a little bit of time because there's a lot of processing that needs to be done. While I said the edge, this is where we make uh, real-time uh, decisions in split seconds that help our customers and our clients make those critical decisions to be uh, more competitive in today's environments. That's, a, that's an excellent question. I've been in this business for quite a while and uh, we had uh, uh, a case which we sometimes call pilot purgatory, which is basically a project that is stuck in pilot for a very long time. Uh, things have evolved whilst some solutions and some uh, technologies have not evolved beyond that. Those that have shown a demonstrable ROI have evolved beyond the pilot stage. So right now we have many projects uh, that are beyond pilot at scale with millions of devices. Uh, things like smart metering, things like fleet management. So they have a demonstrable uh, ROI that we're able to show uh, our customers in terms of increased efficiency, uh, cost reduction, uh, and so on and so forth. At the same time, what we're doing is we're partnering uh, with our clients and our customers in order to give them the end-to-end -end solutions. Again, going back a few years, uh, what happened was uh, people would acquire different pieces of technologies and then figure out how to make it work all together. Uh, right now, uh, what we do at EAN Enterprise is we partner with our customers to give them that end-to-end -end solution and show a real business outcome. And that has allowed us to move beyond the so-called pilot purgatory. Excellent question. You know, there's no, I believe there's no single company that has a, a monopoly on innovation. Um, this is why we collaborate with every, you know, all of the entities that we've just said. We work with hyperscalers such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google, 
and they give us the breadth or the, the, the presence and plumbing, let's say, connectivity required, as well as the many tools to provide services to our customers. When it comes to startups, they provide certain niche technologies uh, that we are perhaps uh, either unable or in order to bring them to the market will take us a, a long time. So we look at the startup community uh, to get a specific uh, uh, requirement such as um, cybersecurity for smart metering and other solutions. Uh, we also have um, one of our sister companies, which is EN Capital. Uh, we invest in certain startups that um, we believe provide a piece of technology that is essential for our customers. When it comes to academia, we have uh, lots of um, working relationship with academia, both in terms of developing certain things, coming up with new ideas, as well as working uh, with academia to acquire talent as they, uh, as they graduate uh, from those academic institutes that fits within our business vision and our future uh, 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 capabilities building uh, process.